sacrifice many a day to tell all the people who worship his name all the tales of his merciless ways. So the songs uh, that are on this album are um, a bunch of songs that I wrote over a two year period that was relatively difficult where I was trying to process a lot of things. Um, and uh, I I don't know really, really where to start with the amount of things that I'm proud about in this album. Um, it took a lot of perseverance just to get the songs written. And then, uh, and then on top of that, uh, I, felt, I feel like every step of the way there was a hurdle or a barrier that I had to get rid of, but get, get over because it was my first solo album. And um, I was just dealing with this lump of money that I've made from Kickstarter and trying to make the best album I could possibly make. So I um, had to you know, hire a band, uh, find the recording studio, um, mixer, producer, like every inch of the way I felt like there were things that had to happen that I've never done before. And now having completed the record, I'm really proud that I was just able to persevere and get it done. I never really had that luxury of just being able to write the music. I started out with Pompolus and you know, we were interested in getting our stuff seen and heard, and so we started doing stuff on YouTube. Um, and that, you know, from the start involved a lot of video editing, a lot of social media. Um, and, uh, and the more popular we became, the more business oriented everything became. And that's tough. That's a tough thing to deal with as an artist. But um, I've been really fortunate because at this point, I've I've got a group of people who are really just, they're just there all the time helping me deal with stuff that I don't need to deal with, like um, I have a manager, and a business manager, and a career, and a personal assistant, like all this stuff that's like really, really helping me focus on music more. Um, but when I was making the album, I didn't have all those people, so it was a lot of um, hard work. Mm -hmm. Try not to take things too seriously. Um, there are certain things that you kind of gotta take seriously, uh, and and there are songs where those things come out, and where I'm just honest about what's what I'm feeling and what's going on. Not that I'm not honest in the other songs, but um, there there's some sort of tongue in cheek with the lyrics, which I feel like, especially when you're dealing with subjects like religion. I think it's really important to have a sense of humor, to not be like, oh, this is bad, and people shouldn't believe this, and people shouldn't treat other people this way. It's better to just sort of make fun of it and, and talk about how it doesn't make sense, and, and, and people will gather what they want from your sense of humor. So, not that it's a joke album, I don't want to say it that way, but definitely, I do take some of this lightly. I've experienced more boldness with regard to my writing and my style, just um, about having a voice and about not being timid about who you are and, and, and what you're saying, and, and that's something that took a lot of time. I mean, when I started writing songs, I sounded a lot like every other female singer songwriter out there who has a sweet voice and sings about nice things or love, or you know, and it takes a while to to really say, I'm okay with using this word in the song. I'm okay with like making people uncomfortable with what I'm saying. Um, and, and I don't want to be seen as a female singer-songwriter. I want to be seen as a singer-songwriter. It's just good at what they do. Yeah,